We should open some mail. Honestly, this is just a bunch of stuff that I've bought online over the course of the last several months. And I was like, it'd be kind of fun to do a video of just me opening mail about things that I think are cool. And I'm sure there's a few people out there that are probably interested in seeing what's inside random people's mail. On top of that, what better way than for you to get to know me than through what I choose to spend my money on? All right, so here we go. We've got a hoodie. This is a brand that I had never bought from before, but it is from a brand called Dark Sport. And let's see, if you see that, oops, the hoodie, there you go. So it says wolves on it, because I think wolves are dope. And two, Minnesota Timberwolves are my favorite sports team, despite the fact that they have not been very good historically. So go wolves. And the rule is, we gotta try everything out. Hopefully I don't flash anybody on accident. Fits good, I like it. It's kind of a narrow cut fit, which is good. Something that's interesting about this, that doesn't have like the shoelaces, but it does have a snap right here. So that way it can be a little bit more cut around the neck, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that looks weird or not. I like it though, it's nice, it's a nice light hoodie. I feel like I need more light hoodies. Sometimes they're too thick, you get real warm. You need some of those in between. This, here we go. Got a Funko Pop, Anthony Edwards Funko Pop. Like I said, fan of the Timberwolves. Ant is uh, one of the best players we've ever had, and he's only 21 years old, so I'm excited to see what he does for us in the future. Um, and I like Funko Pops and collecting things, as you'll find out if you haven't already found out, so had to have this. Oh, let's go! Krispy Kreme. Limited edition shirt from Las Vegas with the Las Vegas sign, the dice on it, the die, excuse me. Found this on eBay and I'm a huge Krispy Kreme fan. I've loved donuts since I was a kid. And honestly, someday I plan to have a national donut chain. And so in the meantime, I'm gonna be rocking Krispy Kreme merch, but better believe uh, once my donut brand comes out, it's all I'm wearing. And when I found this on eBay, now that I remember it, now that I found this on eBay, it was the only one and it was in my size, so it was a no brain Oh, and this is another one. I was on a Krispy Kreme kick. I didn't realize that this one was brand new in bag still. So if you're wondering why I'm into limited edition Krispy Kreme merch, I don't know if there's a good answer to that question, but the answer that I have is that uh, a few years ago when I was in Maui, we stopped at a Krispy Kreme and there was a super cool uh, Krispy Kreme Hawaii shirt. I still have it somewhere. I've beat it to death just because I've worn it so much. And one day I was on eBay and I was like, I bet there's some other cool Krispy Kreme merch out there. And here we are. But on top of that, look at this design. That's freaking sweet. It's a dolphin jumping through a donut. And the other piece of this is that my wife is from Florida, not far from Deerfield Beach, so it just felt like one that I had to have. All right, I know what these are. I'm extremely excited about these. <laughs> Shoe game crazy. So, I have not had a pair of Crocs since I was in like maybe sixth grade, and they were like kind of cool, had a phase, and then they got to be really not cool, and then over the course of the last like two, three years, they've become extremely cool again. Combine that with the fact that there is a Pokemon Crocs collab, and if you know about my other channel, Nelter Cards, I'm a little bit of a Pokemon fan. So when I saw these came out, I needed a pair. Now this one, I'm very excited for. I just ordered this, just got this in. This is from a creator on TikTok named Marcus Millione, I believe his name is. Been following his uh, brand called Minted NYC for a while, and he just re-released this hoodie, which I'll show you in a second. Um, there's some extra fun stuff in here that I don't even know what it is. Definitely check it out. First and foremost, sent a coaster. It says Minted New York on it. Maybe it's New York, not NYC. One way or the other. Minted New York, nice little touch. One of my favorite things is when brands add a little extra something to the packages that you're not expecting. So very nice little addition and a letter. From the team at Minted New York, thank you for choosing to be a part of the Minted New York family. We look forward to continuing the quest to bring quality products to life. Care instructions. Oh, so that was obviously a nice little note. Here's how to take care of it, how to wash it. And then there's actually a couple of stickers. A couple stickers here and here. And last but not least, we got the hoodie. 
which I don't actually have a lot of blue. I wanted a different color. I wanted this kind of more lighter green, but it was sold out by the time I saw it. But I don't have a lot of blue, like I said, so I was very happy to pick this up. Ooh, this is really nice. It's a fire hoodie, first and foremost. Two, the quality of like the cotton is amazing. It reminds me of some of the Kith hoodies that I've seen before. Um, really well done, embroidered on the, the front says minted, and then on the back says minted New York Run Club, which I don't run yet, but now that I have this hoodie, I might need to start. This, this gets a uh, high praise. I'll be wearing this a ton. You'll see this in other videos, I'm sure. I just like, I'm cozy. I got two t-shirts on, I got my hoodie. I like it. I'm gonna be buying more stuff from that. Marcus, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, so to add to our fit, we have a Dobrik's Pizza Hat. David Dobrik's new pizza chain just opened in LA in the Hollywood area, I believe. And funny enough, at the time of recording this, it's National Pizza Day. How fitting is that? I don't really wear a ton of hats. I haven't tried the pizza yet, but I definitely plan on trying it next time I'm in that region. Dobrik hat, minted hoodie, two Krispy Kreme shirts, and the Pokemon Crocs. New York Fashion Week, I'll see you soon. Listen, I don't think anybody's competing with this. And, all right, all right. Doesn't match the fit as much as this one does right now, but tell me that's not fire. Tell me that's not absolute fire. With the freaking ta vintage Taco Bell logo, the vintage Taco Bell colors. I wanna say this is like authentic vintage and not like, I'm gonna say a year out of it. But I think this is authentic, like brand new hat, brand new snapback. If you haven't been on my streams before, one thing you absolutely need to know about me is that I am a Taco Bell fanatic. My dream one day is to work with Taco Bell in a greater capacity on this channel or it doesn't even matter. Somehow, some way, work with Taco Bell. So maybe if I accumulate the largest uh, collection of Taco Bell merch in the world, they'll at least answer my call. How's the look? I don't know if I need to bend the, the brim or not. I'll have to make that decision off camera. It's too much pressure at the moment, but I'll get back to you on that one. Going back to the Dover cat, because it's just because it works with the fit a little bit better. And this one's not really in a package per se, but if you haven't heard, Healy's is back. Heelys in middle school was like the coolest thing ever. I was never able to have a pair, my brother did, but I don't know if I just wasn't interested or if my parents wouldn't let me have them because I thought I was not capable. But I'm an adult now. This is like very exciting. I've been a sneakerhead my whole life, but never owned a pair of Heelys. All right, adding to my sweet sticker collection. Hi Healy gang, you are our favorite YouTuber and we would love to see how you roll. Thank you for being you, enjoy the Heelys team. Thanks, Heelys. Now these are actually gonna go really well with the fit right now. Although, I don't know if run, can I be, still be in the run club if I'm technically in the roll club? So here we go, it's a beautiful shoe, nice gray and blue, nice and subtle. I'm um, gonna go get these uh, wheels locked and loaded and then I'll be back for a test roll. All right, we're laced up. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is going well. Someone tells me this might be easier when you're a kid and you're not 220 pounds, but we're gonna keep trying. To be fair, these floors are not exactly even, so I don't think that's helping me out. Just watch a TikTok to show me how to do this. We're gonna practice with the chair, and then we're gonna nail it. Oh! It did! Way easier with the chair, but progress. We're counting that. That definitely counts. Room wasn't built in today, but it's pretty damn close. Even though it took me like 20, 25 minutes to even go like three, four feet, I'm gonna call that a success because that was progress. Thank you, Heelys. Oh, I forgot about this. It's one of my favorite items in the whole batch. Because not only is this Taco Bell themed, it's Baja Blast themed, and not only is it Baja Blast themed, it's limited edition. So I know it's only February right now, but you better believe that I am all prepared for summer with my Baja Blast beach towel. This is actually way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Very limited because this only came out during the summer of Baja Blast. 
a couple summers ago when they brought Baja back to Cannes. Low key, I do have a goal of trying to collect every single thing that uh, came out during the summer of Baja. There's literally like a longboard, a really cool cooler, a race car, and a bunch of other stuff I don't even probably remember. But for now, I'm happy to have this. All right, so this second to last item of the video is actually the only one that is probably technically considered a work item, although I would say that all of these are work. And that is the DJI RS3 Mini. This is a gimbal. If you don't know what a gimbal is, you basically can put your camera on this and when you're holding it, it will like use motors and like counterweights so that way like, the camera like doesn't move even if you do. So it gives you like very crispy, non-shaky footage. I'm very excited to play around with this, both in terms of for my own content, but also I've been helping some other creators and businesses make content, and this is gonna be a huge help. I'm gonna test this out in a future video, so stay tuned. All right, so we definitely saved the best for last, because there's a funny story about this package. Like two or three years ago now, there was a pre-order on Amazon for this thing, and I placed a pre-order, and I was like, oh, that's coming out in December in a few months, sweet. Can't wait to get it. Then that month rolls around and I realized I didn't get my item. So I went to my Amazon account and looked at the order just like any normal person would. And I realized the pre-order wasn't for that December, it was for the next December. So I had to wait over like a year and a half for this thing and it took so long, I literally forgot I bought this. Let's see if it was worth the wait. It's a Needler. For all my Halo fans out there, I know you'll know what this is. The very own Needler partnered with Nerf to make a Needler Nerf gun. So what's cool about this thing is that it actually comes with a little stand so you can like mount it, which is probably gonna be what I do because I haven't found myself getting into any Nerf wars lately. But if I do, I'll definitely be ready now. Unfortunately, I think I need some batteries for this thing, so I'm gonna go see if we have some. So unfortunately, no batteries, no screwdriver. Didn't exactly plan that one out. So here's a clip from Future Night of me putting this to use. So that is all of the mail for now, folks. But if you enjoyed this, I'll probably do more of these in future videos. And if you happen to want to send me something, no pressure uh, for one of these videos, my PO box is in the description as well as right here. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and I will see you soon. See you at the X Games.